Terrence Crawford says Errol Spence and himself, they don't got to do extra. They don't got to act crazy because Spence Crawford has a fight. It sells itself. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Terrence Crawford was a special guest on the MMA Hour, and he says, quote, I think the fight sells itself. I don't think that me nor Errol got to go out and do things that are not in our character just to sell the fight. When you look at the fight, you say, okay, you got two undefeated top five pound for pound fighters in their prime going head to head for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. Two action packed fighters. What more do you need? You don't need me going out there acting all crazy. You don't need him going out there acting all crazy to sell the fight. The fight's going to sell itself because everybody knows what they're getting come fight night. This is the words of Terrence Crawford. Now, your boy Ego, let me give you the Ego thoughts. I mean, it's a mixed bag. I really, truly have mixed feelings about that statement. For one, you know, I partially agree. I somewhat agree to what Terrence Crawford is saying, meaning this is a great fight on paper. It's a no nonsense fight and people should expect a great fight as is, you know, just if you look at the stats and stature of both fighters, that kind of makes the case. So I can understand where Terrence Crawford is coming from, but I do. I feel it's a mixed bag because despite all of that, like Floyd Mayweather, I feel like what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And Floyd Mayweather was a top of his craft and he was clearly putting on the biggest events, record setting, jet setting events, and he still promoted. So I agree, but then I disagree. It's, it's kind of weird. It's one of those things where you, you're kind of neutral in the middle. You can see both arguments. And that's how I feel. Floyd, to me, is kind of the gold standard in terms of boxing and boxing business merged into one to create a colossal fight and fighter and events and stuff like that. And he promoted. So at the same time, you know, what Crawford's saying, you still got to promote. I still think you got to like, especially I, I don't, I guess, I guess one of the problems that I have with the statement is you have to understand the times we live in. People have the, the mindsets of click and scroll. You could get, a bunch of dopamine hits with TikTok, two, three second clips. So I think more so than ever in our society, people's attention span is like that of a pistachio. They don't really have long attention spans. I know people like for me, I'm a cinema buff. I'm a movie buff. I love movies. My family loves movies. And it's been that way since I was a kid. And I can appreciate a good quality movie. I don't care if it's two hours and 42 minutes if martin scorsese is directing the film and it's two hours or 42 minutes and it needs to be that long and it's an excellent film well written great dialogue and screenplay beautiful acting by robert de niro or pacino or whoever's in the movie then i'm with that but some people they won't rate movies that are too long because they only have the attention span for an hour and 30 minutes all action like a fast x you know type of movie and they're not gonna more complex movies or like movies where it's a slow burn and there's a big payout at the end some people aren't with that because people again their attention spans are shorter so i said that to say this boxing is no different you want people to shell out 80 100 dollars on a pay-per-view even though it's a beautiful fight and we know that you have to understand and this is the thing that I don't think Crawford is encompassing with the statement is you have fans. You can't just boxing fans. Hardcores know it's a great fight. But if you're a casual to make a true fight that does a million plus and transcends the world of boxing, you have to involve more than just the hardcore dedicated boxing fans. And I've said that from the dawn of time on my channel, boxing heads like hardcore boxing fan. I would say it's about 250k 350k boxing hardcore fans i'm talking about they watch brandon figueroa fights or smaller fights they watch you know raiz Elim, you know fights like that or kenneth sims last fight which was a very good fight things like that so 
that being said you have to to have a mega fight million plus fight you have to get more eyes and hardcores know what to expect but if you're new to the sport or kind of you peruse the sport you're not all the way versed as a boxing fan then that promotion helps like look at Javante Davis and Ryan you have people who I know for a fact because I have popular platforms on every platform I'm the best in the business and that fight there were so many casuals when I did my box the ego watch party BWP gang there were so many casuals that were like oh Ryan's gonna kick Tank's butt and it was just all emotional predictions and you know fanboyism and that's what typically you get for a mega fight so I agree but then I disagree with what Crawford is saying that's why I said it's a mixed bag because on the one hand I can totally understand what he's saying and I agree with this also I don't think you should force it if you're not naturally a charismatic person or a trash talker and then you try to start trash talking it usually sticks out like a sore thumb and it's, it's not cool it looks real corny and like cheesy and stuff like that and contrived so I agree there I don't think you should if you're not a trash like Andre Ward he's just a great fighter and he's a God fearing man he's not going to go out there and excessively talk trash he that's just never been who he is as a person you know what I mean so I don't think you should all of a sudden because fans were saying this to Dre Ward specifically they're like oh be like Floyd be like Broner talk a little trash you know push Kovalev I mean you shouldn't have to do all that if that's not who you are as a character because then that makes you fake because you're just doing something for views you know what I mean and then I would expect people who are in Crawford's generation his age range and better they they were alive well before like TikTok stuff like that so I don't think you should do stuff for clout so with that I totally understand where Terrence Crawford is coming from but again I think I also feel promotion for a big fight is very valid that being said I really don't have a problem with how Crawford or Errol Spence has promoted the fight they went on ESPN first take so Crawford he's doing the MMA hour he's actually done more promotion than I'm typically used to from a Terrence Crawford fight you got interviews with him he had the uh camo hat on and stuff like that so he, he's making his round so I'm not even really complaining I just wanted to talk about the concept of what he said because this is ego thoughts and that's what I do I really analyze boxing and what's going on not no bias not no fanboyism my truest thoughts and I gave you my truest thoughts subscribe to the channel I'm the best in the business and it's not even close the best there is the best there was the best there ever will be drop your thoughts in the comment section let me know in a fight like Spence Crawford do you like the promotion or you feel the fight sells itself I think it's a good conversation to be had in the sport of boxing and who else better than the best in boxing to break that ice let me know how I did in this video subscribe and I'm out